Hey, everybody. Welcome to Rob's Water Deep, uh, Season 13, Episode 8. Uh, we're going to go around and have everyone uh, share their character name, pronouns, all that good stuff. We are missing one person, though. Uh, we are missing our uh, Arakokra uh, Dahani. Um, sorry, our, our uh, oh, I can't speak right now. Um, <laughs> her, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. She, she, she is... Uh, off doing amazing things when we we, we we will miss her and we will make sure that uh the honey doesn't do uh anything that harms her this episode also um, the is at san diego comic-con but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, the honey's gonna do all the talk the honey's gonna the do honey's all the talking been, the today doing their own yes. Thing. Yes. And, yes yeah, yeah. I think Dahani found her way to Comic Con as well. Got you, got you. I believe. Oh my God, yeah, that'd be yeah, awesome! Absolutely. Just like soaring above and uh, yeah. just soaring above. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't see her, you didn't look up. That's that's your problem. There you go. <laughs> yeah, because I was looking at all those like Marvel announcements last night, and I swear I saw one with Dahani in it. Like, yeah. It was, like Dahani was. She was the Easter egg in all of them. If you look yeah. real close. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Is just that a bird or Shahani? Just rewatch that that like Wakanda Forever trailer. And I yeah, swear, yeah. I swear, I saw that. Nah, no <laughs> crying, no crying. I can't cry right now. I, can't <laughs> no. cry. I haven't seen it yet, and I'm, I'm trying. I haven't either. Yeah. 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 Um. Okay. All right. Uh, let's start with Masood then. Yes. Yeah. I guess that means me. Hey, everyone. I'm Masood. Uh, I play Gazrik Nomrad, everyone's favorite socialist businessman, druid construct, uh, and uh, both our pronouns are he, him. All right, Brian. Oh, crap. That was really fast this time because, of course, we're missing Latia. <laughs> um, hi, I am Brian. I play Virgil. You're a Samar Storm Sorcerer, and uh, my pronouns are he, they. Virgil's pronouns are he, him. All right, Eugenio. I'm Eugenio. Uh, I play our Tiefling Phantom Rogue, Kent. Sorry, it's all delayed. For a moment, it debating. seemed like you weren't sure. <laughs> I was debating about whether to make a joke about something you said, and I think we're just going to push through today. So, like, gold star me. I forbore. Our pronouns are he, him. Oh, there you go. Thanks. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Okay. All right. And returning from a brief absence last week, Tanya. I... I... I don't even know what's going on anymore. I hope I remember how to play D and D. But I'm Tanya. I play Salisa Storio, your human ranger with a wee skosh of uh, barbarian. Uh, Salisa Storio. Both her pronouns and mine are she, her. And I have no idea what happened while I was away. All I know is there were math jokes, and I just turned my computer away and, and walked away. Smart, really smart. I mean, bro, yeah, this that's that's kind of how they are. Either either you turn away or you lean in. <laughs> well, sometimes, Brian, seriously, the humor sometimes it just doesn't add up. Yeah. Uh, uh, I know where you live, guys. W- map jokes during the intro. Now I was not. Oh, wow. Gonna, I was not. Wow. Gonna, <laughs> I'm so wow. sorry. Dude, no, you're, you're not. <laughs> I, I was not going to have do them during this sequence. It wasn't even me. I didn't. I didn't even make the plan. But, but, wow. but like Brian, like the floodgates are open, y'all. Next two episodes, there might be, like I, I might have to get through the rest of the spreadsheet. So I might have to. Start <laughs> oh no, not that phase. That is not fair. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know who can resist that face from Eugenio though? Mm-hmm. True. That's true. Um, and I'm Sharif Emmer DM. Uh, we're playing a bunch of uh, NPCs uh, as well as Shaka, he, him, and I'm also he, him okay. as well. Um, why don't we talk about our Patreon, uh, Eugenio, as you take a big, big sip of your. Uh, yeah, Eugenio, why don't you talk about the Patreon? Drink? Talk about the Patreon. Well. You see, the rivals of Waterdeep have a Patreon for us, and it is quite a Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash rivals of Waterdeep. Um, you can be treated to all sorts of behind the scene glimpses, things like DM notes every week and after show that we record immediately after every episode. The merch, if you really want to plunge at a high level and all kinds of other great shenanigans, patreon.com slash rivals of Waterdeep. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it's incredible. It. 
What is the name of that one? Because now I'm listening back to it. And I was like, how did I hear Samuel L. Jackson last week? So how, did, how, did, how did that happen? <laughs> so this one sure. is one of their yeah. AI beta test uh, beta test voices. Uh, okay. It is currently called The Narrator right. uh, on Voice Mod. Uh, oh, right. If you weren't that. here for me to do that last week, uh, yeah. we're partnered with yeah. Voice Mod, which yeah. we'll hear about in just a minute from Masood. Uh, but as uh, partners with them, we have access to some of their beta test voices. Yeah. And The Narrator is one of them. Mm. I, I, I can see The Narrator thing. It does mm-hmm. sound a little. I know yeah. they were. I think that they were purposely going for a very specific person for the narrator. Yeah, and they had to dial back on that and make it slightly more generic. Right. It was its original version was very accurate to a yeah. very specific human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, uh, they they want to make sure that they are avoiding any uh, yeah. suits going on here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, so check out our Patreon. Mm-hmm. Great, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank, th- thank, thank you all for the support. Um, as you know, yeah. all of our after shows, which, 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 uh, which uh, we have recorded, are like on there as well as the uh, DM notes. Um, mm-hmm. So make sure to check those out. Um, Masood, to tell the people about uh, some of the folks that support us. Absolutely. We, I mean, we are so grateful for all of our Patreon supporters, whatever level that you're supporting us at. We could not do this show without you. We also could not do the show right now without our sponsors. And we want to give a huge shout out to those folks uh, on the corporate side that make our show possible. We want to use, well, we here all use DD Beyond for our digital character sheets and access to book content. You can check them out at dndbeyond.com. There's a legendary bundle that's always given away in chat. You just have to be here live. You can see the Moobot already uh, moving on that. So keep an eye on it. Um, our dice trays and vaults are all provided by Wormwood. Use the code RIVALS for free domestic shipping at wormwoodgaming.com, and you can get your hands on a beautiful dry, uh, dice tray and vault, just like the one that Brian is showing off right now. Look at that wood. Uh, do you know what type of wood that is, Brian? I can't. After, not no, n- no, you know what? We're not. No. Just and you know going. what that is? That, mm-hmm. That's a shame on Brian's part, because when you order something with Wormwood, they hand you a little piece of paper that shows you where the wood originated from so you would have gotten that in your original purchase uh just wanted to make you feel bad <laughs> we're gonna move right along uh and also shout out all the great things about wormwood and the quality and investment of the quality of the products that they provide uh we're also proud to be sponsored by die hard dice you can check them out at dieharddice.com and you can use the code rivals for 10% off there as well. Look at these beautiful dyes, so many options. I, of course, have the blue and uh, metal, and it, it reminds me of Gazric. that's why I got it. I'm so um, mad at you right now, I just can't even. <laughs> This, here's the thing. I bought a patent at Pax and Plug from Wormwood, and I specifically wanted it sourced from a specific area. It was for my wife, and I wanted to get wood that was near uh, her hometown to, for her to remind it. And uh, so that's the way I knew about it, because, oh, well, I wouldn't support any of these products if I didn't stand by them. Speaking of which, if you're looking for some geeky gear, some nerdy swag, check out Stormcrow. Uh, you use the if you go to the link shop.stormcrow.com slash rivals, you can get 15% off. Uh, and you can get all sorts of cool gear like mugs, uh, shirts, uh, you know, there's even uh COVID masks that you can get options on with some cool defining stats. A lot of options for you. Go check them out at shop.stormcrow.com. And if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the Rivals crew, you got to use blue microphones. Go to crew.bluemic.com slash rivals uh, to go check out any of their gear that they have there. And if you go using that link, we get a cool kickback and we would love to support them for supporting us, supporting you. Uh, we're also now partnered with Idol Champions by Codename Entertainment. You can type exclamation code for this week's free Electrum Chess. And you don't want to forget to unlock Shaka, Solis, Dahani, Gazrut, Pest, Fenris, and Disco, all available in Idol Champions right now. It took me eight weeks, but boy, did I get it. Uh, go check it out at Idol Champions on any mobile device, any gaming platform, any smart computer, toaster, whatever. You can find Idol Champions available for you there. Um, we also want to thank Warriors of Waterdeep. If you're looking for more rich lore in the Waterdeep universe, check out uh, Warriors of Waterdeep. You can type exclamation point wow gems to get free gems in game every week with our link. And if you want to learn more about the Warriors themselves or just play on any mobile device type exclamation point os wow on your mobile device to download and install warriors today 
Um, we'd also like to give a huge shout out to, as you heard earlier in the narrator version, Voice Mod. Uh, they provide a little something extra, a little zhuzh on top of whatever storytelling, whatever narration, whatever thing that you use your voice for. Give it a little something extra with voice mod. Um, and you can go check them out when the chat, there's a link that's going there. And yeah, I think that's all of our sponsors. Hey, awesome. Good job, Masu. Thank yeah. you. I wasn't fishing, but I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we we uh our whoosh captain, as we said, is at San Diego Com Comic Con. Now, while we could Try to call her and have her dial into the Zoom just to whoosh and then <laughs> never leave. That would uh, be awesome. Uh, I, uh, I think we should decide who is going to whoosh. Uh, have we come? I'll to take it. Decision? This I'll take it. I think for the first time ever. Um, <clears throat> I don't. I'm a little. I'm a little nervous. I don't have a hat. Oh, I don't have an accessory. Okay. I. I'm you, just. You know. You I'm just going to like the filters that gives you a, a virtual hat. Oh, if I had Snap Game on, I could. Oh, oh. Dang it. You've got a disco um, ball behind you. Yeah, the, I put it on oh, your that's head. True. I do. Everyone get your whooshing balls a... ready. No, see? <laughs> see? There you go. That's going to go away. Okay. Um, so, yes, everyone, uh, please, everyone, make sure you stretch it out, work it out, get your whooshing hands ready. You all know how this goes. Everyone in chat, please get those emotes ready um, if you've got them. Got to be prepared. And uh, next time, I'm just going to get Latia to like record me a quick video on her phone and play it. But <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. Whoosh. Balls. I don't know you, you use voice mod did for that. Not <laughs> say balls at the end of my I, I said... didn't use voice mod. This <laughs> is... <laughs> I was gonna let the um... I was like, whoa, someone's using their full voice today. We're here for it. Nope, that, that was all Brian. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you you might be able to unlock Brian's voice in, in voice. <laughs> so, Brian, can that be a Patreon exclusive? Oh. We create a voice mod voice. Of I, I mean, honestly, if voice mod, um, because voice mods tight i gotta say it's a lot of fun go. to use but if they want to work with the rivals of Waterdeep to create character voices for every rival i am more than happy to talk about that <laughs> hey, brb hey. sending a dm hey, let's go i love this i love this <laughs> um all right y'all so episode seven last week uh tanya, tanya was of course missing so we have to uh share with her the recap of what happened y'all so what oh occurred I Mount thought joke. because Tanya was missing, Tanya now had to supply the entire recap. Oh, if you had to made supply, up, oh. just made up on the spot. <laughs> right. Oh, I think you're correct. <laughs> yes, actually. And, yeah. uh, okay, yeah. the recap is you all told terrible math jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you um, somehow found the dragon again because I watched the episode. I bet you thought I didn't. Ha! Um, that's why you have to get the recap because Chandler, right. you're the one who watched it more recently <laughs> than recent. any of us. <laughs> me, that was me to, last week. <laughs> We up to five minutes before we went live. Um, you, went, you went back to Skull Manor, and mm -hmm. the baby dragon is actually called Baby Dragon, and wanted to know what these things were. D D. And um. yeah, and then it was just like, what are these things? Why are they here? And poor Leaf needed a break. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Oswald <laughs> took over in the kitchen. Leafy. Poor Leaf. Leaf was like, "This is too much. I can't do it." And then um, I don't know if you want me to talk about the cliffhanger. Not talk about the cliffhanger. Oh, let's re let's 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 rewind from that because what um, we basically were kind of like at the beginning we were kind of like what do we do and so many options. Yeah. Um, once again, you know, after we ended up dealing with the squabbling deans and we tried to we tried to once again get Clippy to break to basically throw off the yoke and shackles of that horrible <laughs> oppressive job mm -hmm. clippy clippy wasn't quite feeling it but maybe we may we i may ask sharif to circle back around to clippy like just do some roles every week to be like is 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 he i will is gladly <laughs> it's episode um, eight of ten we have time we have time, yeah. we have time. has he has he signed um, his union card yet not yet okay well come I don't know. <laughs> but you know there was there were some very important conversations about workers rights yeah. and being respected in your workplace and then dahani slipped him uh, our address and uh, oh, we yeah. left. Yeah. <laughs> I also, um, I look, sorry, this, the parallels that are happening about a 
comedy institution who's <laughs> oh, like no. people oh. are oh. also like strike and like the idea of striking and talking about labor rights is phenomenal and it reminds me i need to talk about something in my outro but we we will that that is <laughs> that is a different universe than right now uh or is it or is it exactly. um, is that connection well done so yeah we got back to uh we got back to the bozen tavern after that and um kind of we oh sorry there was um again masterful by sharif there were a number of people who might have caught our attention first and oh. jerry oh, yeah. won yeah. yeah. So yeah. we got we got Jerry's attention. <laughs> Jerry told us a joke. We then told Jerry a story that was basically the recap of our entire day, and then ended it with a joke that I gotta say, Gosrick, top tier. Yeah, um, it was pretty sweet. He hasn't. He, he's he knows a lot of math jokes. Doesn't know any just like literary jokes, puns. Or yeah. yeah, yeah, right. That was a good, yeah, it was right. a good educational yeah. moment. For a joke. You can't tell math yeah. without letters. So you know, it's like yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and <laughs> then. Yeah. Then we're we um oh we we ended up essentially deciding to uh, we needed to we basically needed to check on things because Jerry revealed that uh because of the feeling that he was feeling about the about our dragon um apparently all of the fractals in Quandrix went back to trolls all of them mm -hmm. yeah. there there was no other leads our dragon was their only lead mm -hmm. <laughs> so. All except, of the fractals were at Troll Skull. Except for Clippy. Yeah, except I for feel Clippy. like Clippy probably didn't get the memo. It he looks like you're trying to resurrect an ancient dragon that founded your school. <laughs> Would you like help? <laughs> and someone said, nah, Clippy, not nah, Clippy, I'm good. Nah, <laughs> <Yeah. no. laughs> but, um, so after... Also, I got to say, after realizing that perhaps Jerry might be stealing jokes from Shaka, I'm not, we're not we, like, we'll look, we just that. look, we're going to bring, we're circle back around to that one. Yeah. Um, we realized that, yeah, we kind of needed to go back and check on the manor. So Gazrik and Dahani um, zoomed back to the manor yeah. and, <clears throat> sorry, uh, Kent and Virgil and Solis and Fenris and Fenris and Shaka all stayed behind with the biddies. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to throw it over to Masood because I, I'm still... I'm still torn up over that was just mm, that was oh a lot. yeah it was really beautiful um Gazric resolved his conflict with leaf in a really glorious way um and that was the, i think the most beautiful moment that occurred last week um nothing else was sweet and sincere that happened uh, i swear <laughs> No, 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 no. Was no was I, I, I would say to to give Gaza credit, Gaza could have went in there and been jealous again about uh, uh, Leaf making all this food, but he bro. came in and, and immediately just said, "How can I help?" Well, and I he, think he created I, the methods, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was, uh, got some support bro. in there. Well, I think for when you were talking about it, this is Leaf's been the chef now for like a year, right? Like, like we have time skipped ahead a little yeah. bit, so I like try to take that into uh acknowledgement when making my choice um and i think there was a lot of other stuff that like we were pondering based on the development of troll skull in the year that we've been off like we see duo and brian being competent and like being uh, successful uh, no really though I, I really think like obviously yes. duo opened this house to uh all these fractals but the revenue that's being generated the support like mm -hmm. the, the house wasn't in shambles it yeah. was a functioning running in um and that uh, that's impressive uh brian was also making sure the business was running good um and dahani went on ahead while gazrik was like sort of like checking in on the state of the actual affairs of the manor and went down to check in with the baby dragon directly um had a beautiful conversation with it directly in draconic its voice uh, growing stronger and more um better able to directly articulate its many deep fathoms of thought into a singular language uh, for us to understand. Um, and throughout that learned a little bit around the notion of dreams that it was having and it's want to, or this, I don't even know if it's a want, but there's a calling for it in some capacity to go to Strixhaven, to see this land where these fractals are from, to visit the space that it's being, at least in its dreams, called to, which Gazer confirmed was not an influence of right. 
some other force upon it. It was somehow, in some way, shape, or form, coming from within BD, um, which we also found out the the baby dragon's name is right now is BD, um, and just a little bud. Um, now, Tahani and Gazrik have to get BD. Oh, that's right. To the-, the joke building, <laughs> the building joke building, uh, and. <laughs> exactly gotta get bd to bjb uh and we'll be rare b um <laughs> like really we gotta get them all there uh and Little we gotta uh, somehow get these fractals also through i mean also they've apparently just been wandering through water deep and going to the north ward so i also don't know that that you know what that is Probably gonna be fine. me latia's problem i'm sure it's Probably fine i'm fine. sure yeah. it's fine um yeah. but yeah uh bd is is interested in going to Quant is going to Quandrix. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, yeah. I think yeah, and, 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 yeah. And, and, and like, to be fair, BD doesn't really, um, I guess, know the details. Like, uh, they know that they, they've, they've been having these dreams. <laughs> they've been fed and brought stuff for their horde. Right. Mm-hmm. So they're kind of like, okay, you know, like, I think I need to go here. Mm-hmm. Um, they did ask if, if it was safe. So maybe a little bit worried about the, the situation there. But yeah. Um, uh, if it if that is what you and the honey choose to do, then yes, y'all can bring. That will, I, think I think so. There. That was and, the most uh, important thing about BD is immediately asking, "Is it safe?" And I'm like, "Wow, right? They are far yeah. more experienced than any adventurer in D and D ever." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and yeah. then and, and there's still all these fractals there. So yeah, yeah and there's still there are. Uh, uh, Brian which, wanted to mind blast a bunch of them. Um, Gazrik wanted we, to Kona cold a bunch of them. We, so, you know, it's good ma- management styles when they match up in a certain yeah. capacity. You know, your energy uh, was your energy was right there. <laughs> he's been he's been a great honestly. He might he might take over Nimrod. So we'll talk about it. Um, <gasps> but yeah, Ooh. we'll talk about it. Uh, yeah. And then I want to. I'm throwing that joke later uh it, 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 i just had to realize like that's, that that'll be a joke for later and i will write that down somewhere um but uh and then we cut back to the folks in uh strixhaven who are chilling at the bow's end um this, and for that i'm gonna throw it back to you all as to amazing ep- this amazing epilogue yeah that you know uh, like not even tacked on we're like no we're, we're gonna make sure that that sharif sets this scene so we did we went back to the bow's end tavern um and Shaka let us know that, you know, no big had had someone had one of the arm, armored guards that we met tied up in the back. Mm-hmm. No big. Totally fine. Um, then we found out that Maggie and Tilly actually helped a little bit mm-hmm. or more than or maybe more than a little bit. Mm-hmm. You Just know. a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, we go back and uh, Maggie reveals herself to be a little bit more of a badass than we had well, honestly, we'd all been suspecting it, but this is some yeah. confirmation yeah. of that, you know? Right, okay. yeah. Um, I will say anyone who is a Patreon supporter, definitely check out our after show because last week we talked all about that and it was incredible. great. Yeah. Um, but yes, so uh, Shaka had, essentially they had tied up this armed guard and after Maggie, um, they'd hold suspended with like magical inversion boots after putting him down on the floor, as we were about to cut away, Sharif revealed that on the floor next to this tied up armored guard were a very familiar mask and a very familiar robe. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's where we chose to end. So, uh, so we know that. Stop right here. That is where you chose you. to end. Yeah. <laughs> We were one more scene to set. <laughs> Listen, as someone who yeah. has made that decision many times in my career, <laughs> you chose. <laughs> hey, I, I, I take all you're, you're you're right. This is about taking ownership. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. This is growth for everyone. That's, yeah. right. That's I, right. I, I gotta take accountability. That's right. Um, for that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we know that, um, I mean, there's a couple of things that could be, right? Either this person has been, you know, attending mass lord meetings. This person is an official mass lord, right? Like this person could have, you know, because we don't know who, who they are, right? Um, this person could have stolen this and is impersonating someone. So there's know, a lot works. of different things that 
could be here, right? So uh, yeah, so that's where we ended. Um, and and like also in in this uh, room is like also Celise, Faye, and Fenris as well. So like yes. uh, that's that's where we ended with uh, basically every everybody else that's not the Honey and Gazerix, uh in this room, including Shock and the Biddies. So hmm. um, such a good band name. <laughs> uh, yeah so that's basically where we're gonna start everybody is uh with um shaka kent virgil Celise, uh faye fenris maggie and tilly in this <laughs> large was, it's, 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 it's a large this room. room this room has yeah. gotten bigger i think since you originally envisioned it <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, was, I was thinking about it as like a smaller uh like a like a large walk-in closet but now yeah yeah it's uh it's a little bit bigger uh, it might be expanding by the moment yeah you know there's a lot of weird magical transposition magic have, you're right on. it's it's all good yeah they, yeah oh no it, it's it's yeah it's 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 like uh well i don't want to say something about a certain property but it's it's like a room it's that a particular that, it's a particular uh, a, it matches the room right it, it matches yeah. itself to yeah. the use of its of its you know residence. exactly there exactly. are rooms in the so, TARDIS that do that. That's a better mm -hmm. property. Yeah, but those usually also try to kill somebody. So <laughs> all right. Cool. Well, we should play this scene and find out, shouldn't we? That's mm -hmm. exactly true. In this room, in, in this room are 15 Daleks. Uh all, that's what I've all always wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all, all lasers pointing to her. That's it. Dungeons and Daleks. Can I that's make a presumption to see how many Cybermen are there? Just, just uh, uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they also present? No, or just Daleks. I yeah. won't be upgraded. <laughs> I mean, Gosrick could, but he's yeah. uh, taking a nap, right? You're he's, absolutely, uh, you're absolutely yeah. right. He's, he's, re up, he's, he's resting up to, 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 to like get those because uh, I believe I think you were like out of spell slots or like out I, of your, uh, your higher was, level ones. I think no, yeah, all I had was like two second level and like all my first level. That was it. Yeah, which I mean could do some stuff, but yeah. Um, Okay. Uh, yeah. So um, y'all are uh, in front of uh, you know you saw Maggie kind of show mm -hmm. her uh, you know that she has some uh, powers going on here, um, and they basically they like directed you to these robes. Um, so I'll leave it up to you um, as to what you say or do next. Um, to be, to be sorry, real quick to be clear, and I. I imagine we don't, but we don't recognize this person, right, in any way. Uh, no. Okay. All right. No. But they're dressed in the same kind of like gear that we saw the other. Yes. Okay. 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 So, did we find the the robe and mask? Or are they wearing the robe and mask? You find them. They're like on the ground, mm. uh, like okay. a, um, um, next to the person. Shot. Um. Sorry. Good. Shaka. Uh-huh. Where yeah. um uh -huh. I mean I'm honestly less I, I'm less concerned about the tied up um person, but the the robe and mask, where did where were those found? We found them on this whoever this person is. Did they're like not really talking? Um th they said that like they're not a snitch. Um and they're not really oh. talking. Uh, Virgil, just looks over. Virgil just looks over at Celise. I... <laughs> and Celise just picks up the mask and she just walks in a circle around this person, kind of like like caressing the mask. Nice mask. Where'd you get it? I know snitch. And she just smiles and leans behind him and holds the mask out. You know that we know exactly where this came from. We're trying to give you a break here. You can be honest with us. Is that your name? My name is I ain't, ain't. <laughs> no snitch. Okay, so quick out of character question for anyone that would know. What happens if I break their mask? I don't know how uh, mass, I don't, I don't think, know how mass load equipment works. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you can really break them. Um, they're well, like items, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that they are constructed so that they are pretty invulnerable. Oh, even um, better, even. Oh, better. I was going to try to like yeah. snap it in front of him, though. I mean, it would definitely. 
It would definitely be a great test to make sure the mask is real. But if it yeah. is real, I don't. I feel like yeah. it's not going to look great for sleeves. Yes. Yeah. Just bite on the end of it, like yeah. okay, it's real. Like okay. yeah. So like it's something that that you could. I mean. Uh, I don't know it's real because we all have them. It looks very real. I'm wondering, um, I guess that's that's yeah. Can we? It looks can we pretty real. I mean, you could definitely test it. To, yeah. I mean, um, we could yeah, also just could put it. it on, and if it changes our voice like the others, that's true. Something simple like that, you know what I mean? That's true. Um, I could do that. As I well. needs to. Oh, like, would we put this mask on? No, 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 no I'm no, I'm no, looking. No, I'm no, looking. No, I'm no, looking at Kent slash Eugenio. Would you oblige me with narrator voice? Oh, is that the... No, wait, we have a different voice. Uh, we we, we haven't like decided we... the Mask Lords one yet, have we? Oh. Um, all right, so I will I will put the mask on uh, just to test it and say... Um... Hey, so do I, I feel any different like this? Yes, you sound yes. like you... Yes, you do. Great. Oh, don't, 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 don't tell them that. Um, well, well, okay. I'm mm, this is uh, actually no Virgil doesn't want to tip a hand so we know that you have a mask that changes your voice I, sure what is what is this I mean you know I'm, I'm kind of looking at the others like because I don't want us to essentially reveal away. too much about this do any of us have yeah th that's the challenge here right? do any of us have a magical ability to get in touch with mert right now uh i don't think so okay not specifically okay. no that's okay just curious um, um i will say that if you are you saying that out loud or no, you, or no, no 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 okay no that's that was a that's a like me asking Got if it. virgil had okay. sending because we all right um because uh Ooh. someone else might uh, oh, that's oh. true. The biddies. Well, if you asked out loud, but they wouldn't know. Yeah. Um, I'm going to instead, since we don't want to tip our hand, I'm going to produce flame. It's a cantrip, and just kind of hold it in front of his face. Is like, so, so still not snitching, huh? You could save a life. It could be your own. Uh, as as some beads of sweat start to uh, <laughs> start to form <laughs> on his forehead, he's like. I ain't no oh. snitch. <laughs> oh, what was that? And I just lean in. I'm, I'm doing full John Wick, like you don't talk. Yeah. And Fenris, meanwhile, is like behind him, just circling and growling. It's like you can have fire or fangs. What's your choice? Oh, yeah. If uh, Fenris is growling, why don't you give me an an, an, uh, an, an intimidation? Uh, uh do i roll that on my intimidation uh one on you, yours and fenris's so two two rolls yeah okay 18 for me and this is gonna sound bad how do i roll for fenris uh, i think you should have i think when i made him for your sheet i think his thing in extras has clickable link uh, so sheet. otherwise that's if it just, doesn't that just uh, decide on a modifier for him yeah he has a plus one charisma there you go and he okay, also yeah. well never yeah, mind you're doing this at the manager. well remember he has his little his little three-headed thing too that oh that i didn't even i didn't even pull that out yet oh no i know i'm just saying that also affects his charisma so if that's in there it might be a i'll wait button. and see how much of our our eye and a nart keeps talking <laughs> yeah all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll and then just add one. So also an 18 for Fenris for intimidation. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, yeah. So so we got a very hot, very high, like a uh, high roaster. So not only is the sweat kind of building up, but uh, this person is starting to look around and the eyes are starting to match Fenris's eyes as like Fenris is, is like going around in this circle. Um, in a perfect circle with a circumference of two pi r, I might add. Like it's, it's a very, very, very perfect circle that uh, Fenris is like, going around in. Um, <laughs> um, and, oh, Sharif. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But and, Elise is just, she's just very calmly like leaning in the, clo the less he says. She's like, I could do this all day. 
Well, I ain't no snitch, but uh, you could be you could be singed. And also, we don't have all day. It's going to be a lot easier for us to just start hurting you. Salise is like, I'm, I'm trying to. You, I, you messed up my did you hear what I Did you hear what I said? Yes. It's just going to be easier for us to start hurting you. <laughs> True. And, you know, I could, I'm going to extinguish a flame and, and lean back and just uh, give fate, uh, Faye a, a nod. And she's got her whips. Okay. And it won't be fun. Now, okay. what would you like Faye to do? Uh, Faye just starts idly messing around with her whips, just like, okay. just waiting on word to be given. The last time we encountered someone who, I understand, you don't want to talk. But you think someone else is going to do worse to you than what we're about to do to you right now? You are mistaken. Look, remember, I ain't no snitch. You didn't hear this from me. Um, but wait, I I can't, I can't. Um, oh, is he reneging? No, uh, he's, he's well. He is uh, trying his best. Um, as he says, uh, you know, uh, you know, he's he's like a talking. You start to see um boils start to appear on his face yeah. oh. boils. um and he starts to cough a little bit oh um, and then you hear uh tilly say just trying to speed things up here hey. look Billy. and you see her wow uh, tilly stealing my thunder and like you see her fingers uh kind of moving as she is Casting ray, ray of sickness on oh uh, on uh Tilly is down with the sickness. All right, stop. And I just look at him like I was just gonna burn you. This is so much worse. This is a lot slower than what we had planned. So okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then like he's like, <sighs> as I said before. You, 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 you're not going to say that I said this, right? I don't even know your name or care to. What do you have to tell us? That part. You're not that important. Just talk. Well, damn, that was pretty harsh. <laughs> um, I don't, and I just start, I start reaching, I start reaching for my sword. I'm like, I could give you harsh. I mean, I'm kind of important. I had the, I mean, it's, it trusted yeah, me with, <laughs> Shimon. Look. Shimon. Shimon. That's, that's what I thought wow. I heard because like, you, you were like Shimon. You were doing the finger. Look. Um, wow. We look yeah, as far so, as this transaction goes, we do need information from you. So right now, you are very important. However, it can also be very important that we have no idea who you are. Okay. Look, I came from the Fortress Badlands, okay? But you know that no one can go over there. It's it's one of the most dangerous places that's near Strixhaven, okay? Uh, and uh, what's his name? Uh, one of the former students sent me, uh, uh, Morgaxer, I think his name is. Um, we, we don't really say each other's names because we try to, you know, um, keep uh, everything on the low. But you didn't hear anything, from, anything of this from me because I ain't no snitch. Where'd the robes come from? Uh, I took them. From? From Magaxa. Oh. He's always bullying me around. <laughs> and you still do what he tells you? So, you... Um, what, what, uh, what, what, what a choice do I have? I mean, you stole from you stole these from him. That's that's very brave. That's yeah, but yeah, but of all of us expelled students, he's the only one that ever gives us any uh, time of day. Oh, now mm -hmm. how did you get expelled? But oh, we don't know your name. What did you do? Uh, just performed some magic on campus. I wasn't supposed to. What kind of magic? Uh, uh, when I was a student about, uh, I don't know, 15 years ago, maybe. 
<laughs> my dude, we gotta let go of the past. All Seriously, right, this what is a kind of match? Let it go. <laughs> Truly, none of it matters that much. I promise. Uh, <laughs> what kind of magic? Well, uh, I guess now that we're in the conversation, I was uh, in the fight with uh, a younger student, and um, mm -hmm. you know, I might have cast some lightning on them because I got really upset. So it's very forbidden on school grounds. I was expelled, had nowhere to go. And Margaxer kind of takes us in because he knows we don't have anywhere to go. I've uh, been working for him ever since then. Morgaxer was expelled too? I think so. What'd they do? I don't really know. But I don't really so question it because I don't really have anywhere else to go. No one really cares about us once we've been expelled. There's other magical schools. Yeah, but once you have this on your transcript, it's kind of a no-go for applying anywhere else. Mm -hmm. You you have magic. Make a fake transcript. I oh, they can they see through that. that. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't go be a mercenary. You couldn't do anything else. Uh, probably not. Uh. I don't know. I never really thought about it, I guess. Um, and now you're here. Now I'm here. But at least I made some friends, right? Friends I mean, that sorry, left you. You mean us? I mean, I just shared with you all this information. We're um, not your friends. Buddy, we don't even know your name. But that's not to say that we don't care about what you do next. You can make a so, choice. So if I tell you my name, does that mean that we'll be friends? Well, that would sort of break the accord we already had about not knowing who you are. If we don't know your name, we certainly can't tell anyone that you gave us information. So oh, you good might point. Good point. need to pick perhaps a new name. Oh, an undercover name. Well, it's going to be a little more than undercover. What if it was brother? You're the undercover brother. Brother. Mm, I never had a brother. Okay, thank you. This is this has been a great uh, time. I'm gonna Yeah. <laughs> yeah I yeah. I, I, it's like I'm out. <laughs> yeah. I I love that uh Godric is not in the room for this. This is great. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um uh okay, brother. You can call me brother. Okay. Okay, brother. this has made it very awkward. This guy's um, so weird. Yeah. Or we, if, if you want to shorten it, I think you could even call me bruh. Bruh. That makes it more awkward. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> All right. Please, please, please. Because I have thoughts and now I'm just going to laugh through them. So please. Yep. yep, 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 yep. Uh, <laughs> All right. Look, bruh. Uh, where is, let's see, where do we start? I mean, let's. Look, we are building some sort of relationship. I can't tell you how it's going to turn out, but let's just keep having a conversation and see how it goes. So, bruh, where is Mergaxer? Well, he's in the Fortress Badlands, about 20 miles from here. Okay, okay. Now, look, do you want to go back there? Like, do you want No. Wanna... Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. I, I, I just took these robes so I could be free. I don't even know what they do. I just know that he uh, really cares about them a lot and they were really important. So I thought this might've been my ticket out of there. Do you know what these do? Here's what your- oh. No, no, please. I'm, 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 I mean, I, was, I saw you put the mask on and then make a weird voice inside of it. I don't know why you did that, but uh, I, I don't know what else they do. It, magic, my, magic is weird. It's my standard. Is this mask magic test? Here's what you're going to do to start your new life. Because a whole world of opportunity should open up in front of you. Several worlds, if you're lucky. If you, if, if there's anything else we need to know, you're going to tell us. And then... Hmm. I'm like there's there's a moment of, of fro in, in Virgil's brow. 
you're going to lose yourself in Waterdeep. Great place. It's a big place. Waterdeep, but all, the, all they do is build jokes there. It's a very funny place. I don't know if I can survive that kind of life. Shaka, do you, how did you, this is viral market. I mean, he's from the back. I, been, of I am seriously state. impressed. I am impressed. Uh, Good work. <clears throat> yeah, Shaka, Shaka Bells. <laughs> 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 wow while you while you are giggling i just does i just lean over him uh. you can find a new life and i'm sure if you try really 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 hard you might even try to be funny oh. but you're going to go get lost like my friend said well, far like, into water deep well is there a place i can go in water deep somewhere that's not here actually at, at that at, at that, Virgil kind of looks over to uh, Maggie and Tilly. Oh. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I honestly don't know about this person's capabilities, but perhaps there's something he could be put to use in making our ward better. Uh, son, are you good at... Uh... Packaging cookies at all? Uh, 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 kind of funny you say that. I, I kind of used to work at the kitchen in Strixhaven, and I was actually pretty good. Yes. Well, that was 15 years ago. Are you <laughs> sure you're up for the uh, <laughs> task? I have uh, some ideas for distribution. Um, and I think the options laid out for you were, were pretty clear. Um, as long as you promise not to get into any hijinks, uh, while you're in our ward. Um, yeah, I guess so. Just tell people I ain't no snitch. I think it would be cool. Um, at, at that, uh, since this person's still tied up, right? Yes. Yeah. Virgil leans forward and, um, actually, actually plucks out a lock of his hair. And puts it away in a pouch. The scariest thing a spellcaster can do. Oh. <laughs> we'll know. We'll know. Okay. Is that like a friendship thing or something? Do you want to give me some of your hair as well? <laughs> no. Have you seen this? No. No. <laughs> oh, um, just if it becomes necessary, and let's hope it never will. We'll be able to find you. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we're all friends. We can hang out and stuff. So I think it'll be good if if uh, you could find me. That's great. Um, okay, so uh, like, what? Like, do do you want me to? Can I just go now, or do you want me to show you where the where the fort where the badlands are? Or, or we're gonna need. We're gonna need to know. We're gonna need to know where that is and. What we're up against. Also, have you ever seen any? He, Mark Axer doesn't have more of these robes and masks, does he? Good well, I, uh, I, I don't know. I just saw this thing he was covered in, and uh, I just made out with it. Well, I mean, I like escape with it. I don't want you to think that I uh, no, did okay. anything. Made, made did off, anything? Made off you with it. Do. I didn't. I didn't do anything <laughs> inappropriate with the robes. I promise. Look, whatever you do in your spare time is your business. We were going to get a dry clean. Don't worry. It's a little weird. It's not weird. Says the, you're not even there. I know that from the manor, Gazer can <laughs> feel it. Somewhere <laughs> in his dream, it just stops and he goes. Oh, yeah. Weird. Yeah, he could definitely feel that energy. <laughs> Um, um so yeah we uh um and yeah just looking to others because like Virgil's ready to be out of the interrogation role not great yeah. what else do we need to know i mean okay so these are the folks who have been this is what i'm confused about right these folks have been kidnapping students who are have been turned into fractals? There's well, like two things going on, and I think I've gotten like crossed. That's the thing. Is like they were kidnapped. As far as we know, they've only. I mean, they're they're making people go missing. 
We don't yeah. know why. Um, Shaka, what other kind of people have gone? What other kind of people have gone missing? Patrons, uh, entertainers, employees. What um, else? I mean, mostly just like most of them have just been students. Uh, huh. Most of them usually on the younger side. Um, and I forgot if Lorene was in the room. So we're just gonna say that 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 like Lorene is in the so. room as well. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think so. And 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 like he he uh, turns to like uh Lorene and like says, Do you know anyone else that um maybe we were missing before you uh got kidnapped? She's like, uh not really. Um, as I said, I'm pretty new here. Um, um but oh I know that they did say something like they were saving me, um, you know, uh, like it was some kind of good thing. Um, Interesting. Saving um, you from fractalization? Uh, I, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Bruh. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry it uh, had to be said. <laughs> from, from being turned into a fractal. <laughs> oh, um, I don't know uh actually um uh yeah i mean we i mean we were definitely trying to save people that was that was part 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 of mogaxo's thing that's why he's so influential save it's a good when, thing we're like we're not doing bad things he does good things i mean what is what is mergaxer what is mergaxer's i mean he's saving you from, I mean, he took you in after being expelled from Strixhaven. That is very, that that is a very generous thing. But aside from your friendship and loyalty, what else does he ask of you? Well, he just asks us to, like, as we were saved, to save other people, to like spread the message. Saved. Uh, mess. Sorry. Now it's um, called. Now, now I have many things to ask, but. Um, we're going to start with the second one first. Yeah. What message? <laughs> yep. Just a message that uh, you can survive and be a good person without strict saving. Strict saving doesn't determine who you are. I Do we have to stop questioning, bruh? Because I'm starting to like Mergax. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you, you, you can do it. <laughs> Whatever you want. Um, okay. So this is all fascinating. And I don't disagree that there are some issues at Strixhaven that, <laughs> that Morgaxer does seem to be addressing. Also, however, he stole some fairy magical clothing, which also needs to be addressed. Um, and taking students against their will seems to not be a good thing, regardless of intent. Correct, correct. Well, uh, I must disagree you hear Godric's voice in the background? Trafficking! <laughs> oh Lord, we can't. That's we can't. On the no, wind. No. On Oof. the wind. Well, um, I, actually, actually, uh, what's uh, what's uh, your name? And he points to Lorene, and then, like she says, tell you my name. Uh, uh Yeah, bruh. <laughs> Bruv. <laughs> bro. Oh, now we're in London. Yeah, we're in London. Oh, oh, what's my name? Minute, bro. <laughs> That's my name, isn't it? <laughs> why is, I love why this. All the name? Doctor Who yeah. stuff all comes yeah. in. Yeah. Really does call. This, this is when the Daleks come out, right? Yeah. Now. Why, is, come out? why is her name important? Oh, no. Uh, well, I was just, uh, you kind of look like, we're, like we had a list of people that we were going to, that, that, that we were trying to save. Um, uh, how, how were you doing in uh, school? Um, I mean, I'm doing okay uh well you know, you know i i'm doing yeah let me do a roll for yeah uh, <laughs> yeah how you doing labrine yeah you all right <laughs> okay labrine's um, a c student uh she got a 19 so so, so uh she's like yeah, i'm i'm doing okay doing all right if I were to Good. roll a 25 insight, what would I think of Lorene's statement that she's doing all right in school? Uh, you would think that she is BSing uh, right. 100%. <laughs> Great. All right. Understood. I'm not uh, going to call her out. That feels bad for Lorene. As a matter of fact, with, with a 25, you would even think that she is like doing very badly. Oh. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to embarrass her at this moment. She's been through enough. But we won't have to talk yeah. about this. Yeah. Um, and then, I like, think bro- sorry, continue. I heard, but oh. um, yeah. So uh, after that, uh, bro says, oh, "I would just ask him because most of the people that were saving, like they're, you know, like they're um, kind of close to being expelled." Um, so we just, you know, kind of accelerate the process because we're, you know, just so aside- just like to make Mogak so happy quicker, quick quicker. So we could we 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 could save people like before he tells us that uh, we need to grab somebody that's already been expelled. So we kind of get people that are already close. Now it's Minority Report. Um, <laughs> what does it take? Wait, I don't know what Minority Report is. It's so much worse than this. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh. Aside from endangering fellow students, what are like what are we talking like what's the expulsion threat? Like how bad do you have to do academically to get expelled from Strixhaven? Uh, well, I'm not a teacher there or anything. I don't uh, do all that, but I'm assuming that you uh usually when you're, you know, usually a lot of these top tier schools what it's kind of hard to get accepted, but once you're in, you kind of just do whatever. Right. Um, but you so broke you kinda, the rules. So, so, well, I mean, for me, it was kind of obvious. I, you know, but Lorene, I, uh, think, right? Electrified someone. Um, yeah, I'll do it. But I mean, to be expelled off of pure academics, I mean, you almost have to try. <laughs> you oh, know, she's oh, right here. I she's right here. Like, reach wow. the Lorene. And, and so he's actually oh, puts oh her hands. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Celise oh. actually puts her hands over Lorene's ears <laughs> and looks at looks at Bra. It's like, look, oh, I, used work, I used to work in Tarami College. I know what you're saying is true. <laughs> Leave this girl alone. Let this girl live. I mean, yeah, oh. I for the truth. I'm just. I mean, yeah. You're, no, I we, appreciate this, you, Bra. Thank I you. Do. I do. <laughs> But I'm so just putting my hands over her ears, like protecting you know, poor Lorraine. So we we understand that uh. Mergaxer reaches out to students that have been expelled, and in so doing, saves them. Yes. And you are now trying to perhaps reach out to other students. I, I we need to go back to the abduction part. Um, uh-huh. again, there will of people who may not be doing well academically at Strixhaven. There really is one missing piece of this. Why? You mean why I would why I would try to kidnap someone that's not expelled yet? Beyond beyond your loyalty and your friendship and, and asking you to do errands for Mergaxer, what else is Mergaxer doing? He protects us, he feeds us, he shelters us, he makes us feel like we're not embarrassments for failing out of strict saving. He's I, w- I would dare to say he's like a father figure to us. Oh boy. Yeah, you know, there's a lot to unpack here. Um. <laughs> I mean, most of our parents, like if you fail out of a college like a Trixhaven, like a lot of them aren't really supportive, especially if we, you know, intentionally electrocuted someone. <laughs> um, so, Sorry, it's not funny. Um, um, also, also, this is a good way for us to avoid uh, prison time. You know, uh, so uh, I don't know. I don't know what you want out of me. I mean, I just made a mistake, and uh, well, it wasn't a mistake. That kid really had it coming, but but <laughs> I gotta say, um, Bruh is talking to the right audience about he that. He really is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but oh, no. uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I don't know. Is that's that's uh, does okay? So does Mergaxer talk about? anything else like does he talk about what what he wants to do or or what essentially and i i you're bruh you're smart you were accepted to one of the most preeminent magical institutions in all of the realms what we are trying to find out is what's mergaxer's plan you know, you've been on the inside. You can tell us. If we go storming in there, everyone's going to clam up. It took us a long time to make friends with you. We're not going to be able to do that with everyone in there. You right now, can really make sure we're friends. And when you're in Waterdeep, we'll make sure you're looked after. 
like that. Roll a uh, sounds like you're trying to go the nice route. So ro- ro- roll a persuasion. Uh, uh, what the advantage? I would say this is actually pretty good. I, I like this. Yeah, yeah. Virgil has a Virgil has a plus ten to persuasion. So let's go. Oh, <laughs> persuasion. Just a good camp cop. counselor. Yeah, camp counselor Virgil jumped out. Uh-huh. That'd be yeah, a twenty. Just... That'd be a twenty-three. Uh, get it, babe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you tell yeah, Virg. <laughs> I feel like Kent actually said that. He would actually say, yeah. <laughs> Get a bang. Get a bang. I absolutely did. Absolutely did. Um, yeah. Um, so he says, Well, um, I mean, I know that he kind of, uh, okay. Uh, I don't know exactly how long ago, but he was at Strict Saving as well. Uh, probably uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a couple hundred years ago or so. Uh, uh, what a DP is, of course. Um, uh, how dare you? Sorry, so sorry, mad sorry. at you. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Um, <laughs> um, and, um, uh, um, uh, I know that he was, uh, definitely expelled and he was thinking of ways for revenge. And over the years, he kind of, uh, you know, try different things, uh, some direct attacks and stuff like that. But uh, he kind of uh, like decided on a, a more strategic approach. Um, so he uh, used his influence to, uh, I think, get the schools to want to expand in other cities. Uh, 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 I, I believe your school, uh, your well, like I don't know, I don't know where. Wait, I I know you told me to go to Waterdeep. I don't know if you're from Waterdeep or anything, but uh, fair enough. But uh, all the schools have different ways to like rule them. They all have different kind of uh, you know councils and such. And uh, he kind of wanted to help uh, influence th- those councils as well. I don't know how he was trying to do that in Waterdeep with like, you know, I don't really know. But uh, uh, he's basically trying to use like his uh, you know his uh, influence to help control other areas outside of Strixhaven, and then. Trixhaven don't know that they expelled the wrong, the wrong people. Oh man. Well, all right. Hmm. I was so on board till that last bit. <laughs> this is all right. This is about revenge and control. And like revenge, I can, revenge, I can get on board with exactly. But thank you. Like, right. like, yeah, right. We are right there with the revenge part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I have a, I, I, I have a suggestion. Uh, By all means, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you do very much. Any opportunity to say his name. Um. Uh, how about you? Uh, since you, uh, sent, maybe you could send me back. It's like a kind of. Undercover agent, maybe, uh, and I could maybe give you some information from the inside. Bruh, I appreciate you, and we are gonna make sure that whatever happens, like you get some help with whatever the next phase of your life is. But I gotta be, you've been honest with us, so I'm gonna be honest with you, bruh. You rolled over like a tennis ball when we leaned on you so i don't know that we can trust you to be a good double agent look i'm sorry he did like a tennis oh, ball i mean, <laughs> I mean what do you mean like the paladin was had fire on me and there was like a dog circling me and hey hey like, hey he's oh. not a dog oh uh, <laughs> a, uh a construct of some sort was circling dire around wolf. me it's a dire wolf, oh, dire, uh, dire, just say dire wolf. <laughs> and uh y'all are all like Surrounding me in this room that's been strangely getting bigger to accommodate. Uh, I can't. I mean, I mean, there's a lot going on here. You need to think about this from my perspective. I didn't roll over. Yes, you did. Snitch. Yes, you are. You rolled over like a deflated ball. And the people there with Mergaxer, they are your friends. It's going to be very difficult to go back and not want them to take you back in and forgive you. If you really want a chance away from this place, away from Strixhaven, essentially being an anchor on you forever, you need to make a clean break and start again and move on.
okay, well, I can, uh, I can, I can give you a, a map of where to go if you want to try the Badlands by yourself. I don't recommend it though; it's pretty dangerous. Um, but if uh, if I can uh, live my life in Waterdeep packaging cookies, I think that would uh, that sounds pretty good. So uh, he he um, uh, you know, there's some paper somewhere in the room. He grabs it and he starts to sketch out. Um, a uh, map of, uh, you know, like he starts to sketch out some directions. While he does that, uh, I would love to just check with... Something tells me that um, the biddies are exactly what this individual needs uh, for a little while. <laughs> uh, capable, uh, you know, no bullshit, ready to rehabilitate. Uh, so just make sure that they're cool, like, keep an eye on bruh. Mm-hmm. I gotta turn him uh, into a newt the first chance that he messes up. Let's be real. Like, <laughs> learn his lesson. Uh, it won't be permanent. Yeah, it'll. We uh, think. It, we think. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Mag- Maggie and like uh, and like Tilly, they kind of turn to each other and then they say, well, "We haven't had someone outside of outside of uh, our sisters with us for a very long time. Is this a? Are we sure this is a, this is a good idea? I oh, it'll be not. fine." It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We'll we'll uh, treat him well. I'm sure he's he's shown an exemplary performance here. Um, uh, and uh, she winks at a uh, Maggie, and the Maggie laughs and says, "Oh yeah." Uh, and then that like she, uh, she she uh, removes the ray of sickness uh, from uh, from uh, him as well. Um, I forgot he's but, been doing all of this while getting oh, yeah. slightly well, sicker. Oh my oh, god! Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, they uh, turn to everyone else and like say, "I think he'll be a fine addition to uh, the North Ward." Yeah, we'll I don't know. And Virgil looks around to you know. We I just saw the thing in chat. We we kind of do. Um, <laughs> looks to looks to Kent and and Solis. You know, not not acknowledging Faye, but it's sort of a rivals. Yeah. Thing. Is there anything else that we need to know? No, just we know we have a map. We know at least in theory what this guy's motivations are, and uh, we've got something that can be collateral. And she like t- makes a show of tucking away the robe and mask. Yeah. Uh, no, the only I mean. We'll need to figure out ultimately exactly how uh, sort of references the the mask and robe that Celise is putting away. How Margaxer managed to get hands on those—that's a pretty serious breach of some serious, pretty intense security protocols. Hey, what, um, what, what's so special about that robe, anyway? Don't worry about it. Unique. Very it special. just looks like a piece of clothes. Like is like is Waterdeep a uh, fashion capital or something? Depends on who you are. Jokes. <laughs> it's exactly right. I mean, uh, we're working Shaka. on it, bro. Don't worry, we're working. On it. Shaka. Uh, Shaka, we asked the I asked the Quandrix Deans this this, and now I'm wondering. Um, no, sorry, wait. The words were in my head. Shoot, was anyone in particular strongly for or against this tavern expansion? You're asking Shaka this or yeah. uh, bruh? Yes. Okay. Action Shaka. Um Shaka. Um I mean, I don't really I don't really know the deans that well. I mean, my main thing is, you know, trying to try to build these jokes for the tavern, you know. Um, but occasionally the deans will come in, you know, and they'll, you know, um, but yeah, I don't I guess I don't really know. I mean, I do hear the students gossip about it sometimes. Um, so I can't really verify, but um, I know for sure that the, uh, you know, that the uh, Quandrix deans and and the uh, Prismari deans I've heard come up um, several times, but I'm 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 not really sure. Okay. Thank 
thank you. Uh, it was going by, and I don't like to have it on the podcast. Oh, uh, okay. oh that, that, that could be some good background. for Yeah, right. <laughs> Very dramatic. <laughs> for, uh, for the tavern, you know? I don't know. Oh, that's true. That's fun. I don't... Um, I don't, I, I mean, at this point, I don't know that Broad knows any of the answers to anything else we need to get answered. So, I, yeah. I guess to the University Badlands, which is, so no, never mind, I'm not going to make that joke. I'll offend somebody with that joke. <laughs> I was going to name a department and say that that was the Badlands, oh, definitely. but really there's wow. no good. That's, there's, there's no, no good answer for that choice. One. That's which it. department would you like it to be? The Bursar? <laughs> admission oh i was thinking academic department but yeah we can totally go add them that'll work <laughs> oh that would be it academics okay then yeah. tenure yeah uh and then uh shaka does say well if we're gonna head out there um robbie suggests we maybe rest up a bit um yeah just to make sure that we're prepared i mean i don't know much about this place uh but from the way that bro kind of talks about it uh just want to make sure that we're ready. Yeah, sounds like, I mean, mm -hmm. we know that we're dealing with former Strixhaven students, so magical defenses are going to be sort of important, expecting the same on that side. Also, we and should we'll really... Need, we'll, need to like, wait. we'll need to wait for... I'm not not concerned about them, but, like, we did leave Gazric and Dahani on their own. I, I'm I mean, sure they're going to come back. I'm sure everything's fine. Well, I'm sure they're... Now, see, the first half I agree with. <laughs> yeah we kind of got to make sure that that um i mean they uh yeah i'll, I'll assume that y'all put shock up to speed about yeah, um, yeah, yeah who's going where and everything um sure. and like he's 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 like yeah we should definitely we should definitely check um make sure you know everything's okay with the fractals over there um uh but we should definitely all try to go like together though because i just want to make sure that you know that we Got this down so i will i'll join you guys um you know like uh l luckily you know uh J jerry you know i've been training him to joke build he's been training other people to joke build so i think they can handle the bows and tavern um if we go to, to 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 like take care of this so yeah we've missed you i mean we're very proud of you but we missed you yeah well thanks um yeah i think i got a good thing going here um i mean once we deal with this you will <laughs> yeah yeah well i mean i've been doing well considering the circumstances yes that's though. absolutely yeah. okay, right that's, yeah there there you people go. have been disappearing <laughs> but still come but other people still come and still come. About that's, the right. it, yeah. that's a real testament it's a net, I gotta it's, say. A net it's a net positive <laughs> i mean <laughs> you could get kidnapped at the show but yeah it's good but the it's material so good. is so good yeah, yeah. About the, mystery, yes, it's like yeah. a risk reward it's, it's risk that's reward. right it's and they're you know they're risking um, it so <laughs> That's yeah, I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure Dahani and Gosrick will check back in. They just wanted to make sure you you knew about the fractals going to Scroll Skull Shaka. Uh I'm gonna say I thought it was a joke. Uh <laughs> um, but once you but like once Oops. once y'all came back and like said something, I was like, oh uh yeah, I thought it was kind of like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if you know uh it was all full of fractals? Yeah, that'd be pretty funny um and that duo was like responsible for all of them yeah it'd be great that um, sounds hilarious oh, smash awesome. cut to troll skull in <laughs> ray <laughs> yeah yeah uh so uh yeah I, I uh did not know that part until you guys told me so so, 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 so it's all good so i think yeah we should um probably uh i don't know either get either get lorene i don't know if should bring you back to Strixhaven. I'm not sure, but like you definitely can't go to the Badlands with us. Um, so I'm not sure what to do with Lorene here. Um, Sounds like Lorene like needs to go study. I uh, yeah, maybe. Wait, I don't. I I, I don't think uh, Salisa's hands are over <laughs> Lorene's ears. To, oh right. To to uh, hear that. Uh, she, she's Look, like truth is truth. <laughs> she's like yeah. I I think you're right um yeah i probably need like a tutor or something uh it does uh, feel yeah. like tutors would solve a lot of these problems honestly yeah <laughs> yeah how does this yeah. college not have to I don't, yeah, okay. yeah this whole campaign is an advertisement for my business my tutor <laughs> <laughs> uh 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> but really buy a package but really, yeah. I'm into it. Uh, um yeah um yeah yeah I'll, I'll i'll probably just maybe uh ask a job and ask she's like helped me like before and you know, oh yeah and, and uh, some stuff uh and and maybe stay here just until this is dealt with it sounds like like, like in this room no like you know no, just in bow's end maybe in the water deep extension of bow's end just until right. Make sure yeah. some eyes are on you, just in case. Yeah. That really more than anything. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll go find Javanesh. Um, and like at this point, Bruh's like finished his uh, map, um, and like says, "Okay, well, who 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 wants to handle the map? It's actually pretty good." Excellent. I'm impressed that I'm impressed that Bruh drew that since we didn't actually untie them. Yeah, no, uh, that's a good point. Uh, that, that is that's that's amazing. He like, was, uh, yes. he was, uh, yeah, yeah, we're <laughs> definitely retconned because I did not mention that. Uh, uh, Mag, Ma- yeah, yeah, Ma- Maggie magically untied him when he said that he wanted to uh draw a map. Uh, it's mostly like a like a and oh, he just you know, like, it's, yeah, it's, it's good, yeah, it's just like, uh, 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 uh. It's like a sketch, um. Yeah, so uh yeah, so uh yeah okay uh, so like Celise has a map and like he says, Okay, well uh uh lead the way, ladies. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, to come see on, bro, let's go. What <laughs> Brawl is like when we see him next. Yeah. Oh my so, goodness. Yeah, so um Mag Mag and Tilly uh they basically leave the room with uh bro. So like I so so like y'all y- y'all have this map, y- you got the robes. Um Shaka says, Yeah, um yeah, there's like a um there's like a uh there's there's like a couple beds in the downstairs area here. So like we can either get some arrest here or we could go back to Troskull um to make sure that like that like everything is oh oh okay there, get g- get some rest in like our actual rooms. And then head over. About how much? How much time would we say has passed while we've been interrogating? Uh, no, hour or so. A few hours. Yeah, maybe. And they're not back yet. And Dahani moves very We're... fast. We should check on yeah. home. <laughs> yeah, we should. Okay. Okay. Everybody in agreement. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Uh so um yeah, so uh you know, I'm not gonna narrate how you get back. Like you go back, let, like you go to the exit thing, like find the table, press it, and you walk back to water to uh to, to, like troll school. Yeah, yeah. Just like a really quick montage, right? With with like some cool music on it of you going back and uh, yeah. and, and and uh, doing all that. Um yeah, so when you get back um uh kind of similar to uh what i described that gazrik and dahani saw um when you open the door to troll school manor um a lot of fractals uh just in the common area hanging out uh just doing random things like they're reading they're talking to each other um uh so you don't see uh gazrik and dahani but you do see a bunch of fractals um yeah so the that's what you see when you walk in i'm sorry why are there a billion fractals here jerry, jerry wasn't kidding they, they really all came here do we have a broom we don't Dah- have that many brooms dahani Gosrick. <laughs> um yes where did it come from? Oh, well, yeah, where where would Gazrick be? Oh, he, I'm in uh... I'm in the office. If the, of like, course I, you are. Of yeah, course yeah, yeah. you Why are. Why did we yeah. not look? Yeah, absolutely. I've opened the door. I'm in there. I'm like, the paperwork that's been stacking while I've been gone. Keep making sure the portal is also not overflowing. You know, simple things. Yes, of course. All right, well, let's go there. Uh, hi. We've oh hello! Worried. It's been a few hours. There's a lot of fractals here. Oh uh, yeah. Updates? 
Oh, yeah, sure. Um, so Leaf's uh, taking a break. I've got some ice methods handling all the food. The fractals have paid up front, so there's at least uh, appreciation of how oh. that's been going. Um, be mindful, though. There might have been some objects from your room that has been moved to the horde or other things that you're used to. Kent is uh, gone. Yeah. <laughs> Just a, just a cloud of well, dust. <laughs> and Solis well, is right that, behind him. <laughs> so, go, go on. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll be back! <laughs> it's worthwhile someone to... Uh, I mean, everyone else has checked their room. It's worthwhile. So at least one person goes. Um, but yeah, and then um, I update Virgil on like a little bit of the background. It's like, so the baby dragon wants to be called BD. Um, and we looked to see... It was having dreams of Strixhaven, of Tanazir, and this other stuff. Mm. I did my best to confirm whether or not someone was manipulating BD to have these uh, dreams, if it was an influence from the outside. To my knowledge, it seems that they are somewhere from within their entity uh, and uh, somehow calling them from not Strixhaven, but from within. They want to visit uh, the campus. They want to see Quandrix. Um, and so who are we to deny it? It's the agency, um, especially if it's now eloquently enough to vocalize it. Um, so Jerry was right? Yeah, kind of. I don't know. I, I mean, I think they can be right about one thing. You know, that's that, that's like that'd be rude to say they're not right about any. You know, <laughs> this just happened to be the one thing it was. We right are about. so vicious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, the, uh, dragons are weird, man. I don't know dragon magic. It's natural. Yeah, the cosmic magic is weird. Period. No, 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 no. You yeah. and I, you and I understand that more <laughs> than anyone else. Absolutely. It really is weird. But I think there's a way you can sit in it, right? Like I can sit in nature. I can sit and commune with the energies around me um, to draw on the spirits, to draw on um, what has been there, the plants, the vegetation, to guide the weather to my benefits, right? You as a storm sorcerer, I, I don't want to project, but I imagine you understand the feel of magic is more descriptive than any words could describe, right? Well, I mean, it's more of a raging torrential storm of violent energy that's waiting to erupt from me at any moment. But yes, same neighborhood. So many words, but a feeling you know, right? Like, mm. And I think that's the way with dra dragon magic. If I was to... <sighs> If I had time to understand and, and, and settle with it, I might, I might know more. But um, I feel like this is something that only BD understands. And it's doing its best to communicate to us. And all we can do is help it on its way. All right. And, and Virgil brings Gosric up to speed on mm -hmm. what they learned. We, we did end up... Uh, Shaka and Maggie and Tilly, you, you yeah. remember them. Yeah. They, uh, they, they managed to capture someone who appears to be with the people who kidnapped Lorene. Okay. And they report to someone, it feels like there's a betrayal, revenge, building an army kind of thing happening. I, a big picture we now know where to find them. We have a map. Oh, and uh, Virgil leans in and actually he closes, he, like uh, reaches back with a foot to actually yeah. kind of like close the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I feel bad if, if Kent was running back to say they took stuff because it would have slammed his face. Um, <laughs> Mer Mergaxer, the leader of them. Mm -hmm. had a particular robe and a particular mask and they seemed genuine this explains a lot because I was wondering who would be so bold as to commit such egregious crimes within Waterdeep 
and it is someone who knows how to get away with crime. It is someone who knows our bylaws and our rules and how to sweep things under the rug. Okay, okay. That honestly, this is comforting to me. This I I, I know it doesn't seem like it, but it's comforting to know that this isn't some jag off from the Strixhaven universe. This is one of our own. And probably someone we have been in a meeting with. Oh, there's no way to know. And and Virgil then goes back and opens the door again. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay. Uh, As you open the door, um, when you open the door, as the door is uh, opening, you just see a bunch of fractal faces as the door slides open. Mm Mm-hmm. You just see a, a bunch of faces there, uh, like, uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I know I know. the rest of the staff is on break because I'm the only one in charge right now. What's going on? I got it. Oh, just uh, curious if uh, there was any um, any more food? Yeah, yeah, go to the, chi- uh, the kitchen. The methods are on it. Uh, they are on it, but maybe not fast enough, maybe? <sighs> okay, Virgil. I there's truly I finished all the Nimrod's paperwork and the manners in place. If you want to wait in here, you can. I got to get to the kitchen. I'll, also, uh, 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 do you have any extra? Maybe I don't know, extra clothes or anything. So help me God, I will freeze what? you all where you stand. And like, <laughs> <laughs> Gosser just starts like moving through the group to get to the kitchen. Okay. What do you need clothes for? Um, to give to Tanazir. Oh no! All right, you are in our house. Stop giving our things to the dragon, whose name is not Tanazir. I don't know that. Just the quiet, the quiet. It's you know, what was that you said is, about? What was that you said about cold, Galsrick? Ah, don't tempt me. <laughs> no, no. I think you need to talk to Jerry. Uh, 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 I think you need to talk to Jerry. He sent us we, all here, and it's all true. We just Jerry doesn't live here. We just spoke to Jerry. We just we saw Jerry. We did. You saw Jerry? Yes. What did he say? Yeah. What did he say? Oh, I'm so tempted. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Did he uh, tell us to all leave because he was Yes, lying? yes. Ooh, um, hold on a second. I, uh, um, you know what? Yeah, look, I'm going to go for it. I'm Virgil is going to, against his better nature, lie and say, yes, he said y'all got to get the hell up out of our house. I okay, so both, b- both of y'all rolled Just deception. Like uh uh, I'm sorry, my echo and... thought I said something to it, and it was. <laughs> um, wait, wait, wow. wait, wait, wait. Does, does the word "lie" activate your echo? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe Dang the it. device can roll a d20. I don't know. <laughs> Dang, damn it! That would be a twenty-two. Hey. Okay. Virgil is a better liar than I am in this moment. Okay, so uh, there's about you know maybe a uh, five or six fractals here. They believe. Yeah. They they leave. Tell your friends. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I want that house party moment. We just start going through rooms. Yeah. <laughs> you out. You out. Just start just, throwing. Fractal. It's just constant. It's constant. The fresh prince with throwing jazz out of the house. It's just all of us like nah. Yeah, <laughs> so far. I mean, now these 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 are paying guests, right? They they are paying guests. Paying who? Us, Do we even have that us. many rooms? Well, they can be very small, so I assume they're sharing. <laughs> it's just oh, like a hundred in a room. This place was an inn for a long time, right? There, I mean, we took yeah. over the... I mean, look, o- Waterdeep OSHA may oh. come and talk about occupancy rates and fire hazards and stuff, but you know what? <laughs> that 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 is true. How, how, how many bathrooms are in here? Yeah, how many bathrooms we got here? Like that. Would I don't me. know, but now I'm going to Google it. <laughs> I don't even know to fractals. Have we, have fractals we ever need to use that the facilities. The I don't bathroom. know. No, I, there is <laughs> oh, the an man, official the map of Charles Skull that I'm going to go look at. Right? There are I many. Think, there I don't think we mentioned many restrooms. It's a manner. I don't know. It's a manner. It's a manner. <sighs> there are oh, two private baths in the building. 
So I know that there's a private one because uh, because uh, Salise is like definitely uh, definitely bathing for sure. But uh, I'm like, is there like a? Uh, only yeah, well, we'll, is yeah, the we'll, only person who cleans yes, themselves. Out of, yeah. out of, I mean, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I we'll, mean, I'm assuming for the pub part, maybe that there, if there's not like a like, maybe yeah. we have whatever the outdoor kind of thing is for the, for yeah. the public access. But the rest yeah, of us, we're we, good have, we know uh, how to share. No, no, it's right. <laughs> Are the porta potties still there from floor. the con? The bath- still- I did not. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I authorized porta. Did we authorize porta potties? I don't know. Con? I'm just assuming no, that there were facilities. There might have been some. Yeah. outside i i next time i'm gonna write up a contract sure <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so so um yeah so uh these uh fractals leave but yeah so like you guys are out in the main area gazrick has uh, gone to the kitchen um you haven't seen dahani um but like you can assume that she's gone to her room or you know or uh or like something so um y'all can either just go to your rooms and get some rest. You can go try to find BD like yourself. Um, you know, you can uh, do anything else um, in the manner you'd like to. Uh, yeah. But you're no. back here and it's all fractals. So. Virgil, Virgil's plan is to try and get some rest and hopefully convince the fractals that they should go home. Because so, if they go home, then it saves the students from being turned into fractals again. <laughs> one problem down. <laughs> Elise is just going to leave with Faye. Like, I'm crashing at her place. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Brain right there. Yeah. That is very smart. <laughs> that, is, that is very smart. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, uh, so Elise, Faye, and Friendrich just peace like, out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is very smart. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, Virgil, do you want to try to handle this fractal situation now, or like just go to sleep and uh, honestly, um, know that when it's no, yeah, I, I, I think I, I think Virgil's going to retire to the room and hope that maybe the maybe the rest of them have gotten the 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 hint or the clue, but that is tomorrow morning's problem. <laughs> okay, sure, yeah. Um, are you joining him, Kent? Or like, is there something else that? Uh, I mean, I, I, that... actually, uh, Ken, you uh, uh, might be a little concerned that I think you saw some fractals that had <laughs> stuff that looked somewhat like yours. You couldn't really tell, so you decided to, you know, actually investigate your room mm-hmm. and see if there was anything missing. And mm-hmm. what did you roll when you uh, when you decided that? And I rolled an 18 on my investigation. What oh. did I Kent? find or not find? Kent, there are some small items missing. Okay. Um, not any large things, not any capes or anything like that. <laughs> okay. Um, but 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 uh, but uh, there are some small. Um, but imagine uh, you think Kent would have cufflinks. Kind of thinking, oh yeah and so what i that's exactly what i was gonna say was there like i have several yeah. little boxes of accessories for things like cufflinks earrings um and i oh no there's a chance that the grotz earring like doesn't travel around with me just in case so that might have also been among the little accoutrement Ooh. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I'll, if you want them to take that, I will say they will. I mean, I don't, that, but that I also up, yeah, no, don't. No, that, <laughs> I don't, don't want to open up that okay. can of worms okay, this great. late in the great. season. <laughs> they know yeah. like, they live at a magical university. They can. They were like, oh, "This has got some bad juju on it. We don't want that." Right, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, they can stay upstairs. Or that's next season's problem. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna dump that on the next DM. Just, uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh dear oh dear, oh dear. okay um uh, yeah so yeah, okay so little things so, so like s- s- some things are small enough for a tiny fractal uh that can fit through small spaces <clears throat> can grab it because your door is locked you know you, right. you, you don't see anything that like anybody jimmy the door open or anything like that so um yeah like you do notice some like small things missing from your room <laughs> okay so i think a few fall small things and like look bd is is fam and like bd and i have had this conversation about you know i understand you're a growing dragon you got to build a horde 
I have something of that dragon sensibility in me as well. So I would appreciate if you not steal from my horde. So like, it's not BD's fault, it's the fractals. Uh, so I think when Virgil comes back to the room after finishing the conversation with Gosric, uh, you find Kend like stuffing the keyhole and like gaps around the door <laughs> with like towels and tissue and stuff to try and keep them out of the space. What, 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 are, what, are, what are you doing? They got in. Our room. They got in. Mm, there's a, there's like the, again, the brow furrowing, like, is this now a problem or tomorrow a problem? Is it a now problem or tomorrow a problem? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, um, oh, well. <laughs> this mm. is stymied us more than any other part yeah, of this yeah, adventure. Like, yeah, yeah, what do we do oh about the, the frack? Core. You can threaten me, but don't take my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is the core issue. This is this is the this is the moment. One shining moment. This is it. Um. um yeah, so like, do you want to just rest or do you want to try to find these things on? Uh, uh, so, um, so, like, it, so like, it can either be like you could find a fractal with it or it could be, you know, in the hoard. <laughs> uh, Virgil, Virgil would like to go to the hoard. After yeah. hearing what Gosrick told him about like the, the mm -hmm. line of fractals and the progression, procession, mm -hmm. which, mm -hmm. I don't know words. Uh, you can't take like the slide. You have to walk. It's blocked up. I'm sorry. What? Guys are shouting from the kitchen. You can't take the slide down there. You have to walk. It's gonna. It's gonna be like 20 minutes. It's. It's a whole thing. Mm, um. Oh goodness gracious me! All right. Yeah. Um. Then yeah, Vir Vir Virgil wants to go to the baby dragon, oh. and if there's a big line in front, he will simply like teleport to where the dragon is from the back to the front. Can yeah. Gazer grab your attention actually before you go down there? Oh. Like on the way out, he's like, hey, hey, are you going, you're going down there, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, can you do me a favor? I don't know what magic you have in terms of, uh, I know you control lightning and stuff, but what uh, clairvoyancy or mental magic you have at your fingertips, can you somehow get the image of Tanazir? and be able to transfer it to me mentally. Um, <laughs> like, but... Can you somehow like the, gain the, the memory dragon? of having seen Tanazir the dragon, oh. and then be able to transfer that memory to me? Like from a fractal? From a fractal, maybe from BD, I don't know, because uh, BD has been seeing it in some capacity. I, this is this is just an insurance claim. I'm trying to make sure that we've got their bases covered on. <laughs> like, Gazik's trying to be very shady with these other people around here. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. No. I, okay. I feel like that's perhaps that's something that um, when we talk to Shaka and Jerry again, we can get help with. Sure. 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 I mean, could we ask BD to describe Tanazir to us? I mean, it maybe can't, but. I need, I need, um, I want to be able to shape shift into Tanazir in order to provide cover for BD if something happens along the way. And in order for me to make that work, I need to have seen this creature. And I, 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 it's missing now. So if, if there's some way to gain the memory of it that I can embody and learn it for myself, it, that's the insurance. That is the insurance that I will be the dummy dragon while BD is safe. Does it have to be an exact, like, if you've seen a dragon, are you able to perhaps change into a dragon of a Oh, yeah. Type? I can, I can train, change into the elder worm that we saw way back when. <laughs> like, that, that, I could do that easy, do that. easy. I could change into BD even. Um, but that feels like a whole... That opens up shenaniganry of like, oh, which one's the real BD? Um, we are we are deep into shenanigan territory. Yeah. At this point. But that, I mean, I, uh, mm -hmm. 
I'm just trying to make sure that if something were to happen, we could protect the BD by making sure they weren't in harm's way. Oh, I'm I'm about to go and protect BD. Yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. don't worry. <laughs> it's all I'm gonna go keep working on Leaf's recipes while I try to chew away on uh this problem for myself. But uh yeah, do you both go go see BD, make sure they're okay. Um and uh, Brian wants to mind blast some of these fractals, and I'm ga- I'm gaining less and less willpower in telling him no. So <laughs> Brian may not uh, be wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I'm starting to understand it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. I. I. I yeah. That's that's where and uh, like seeing seeing hearing hearing this in Kent and and realizing that they have been making offerings or tribute to bd yeah virgil just wants to go to where this is and sure. okay you know um as you go down there um there's some fractals there um it's not as large of a group as gosrick might have been like describing um so it's pretty easy to get down and make yourself um close to bd um there's about i'd say maybe 10 to 20 fractals that are there um but like when gods were there, there was like, you know, almost all of them <laughs> were yeah. down there. Right. Um, yeah. So, uh, so like you're there, uh, what, what, what would you want to do? And, and like, also does, uh, does, uh, Virgil know Draconic? No. Okay. All right. Mm-mm. So, no. <laughs> but, so, uh, so yeah, does, does BD look fine? Uh, BD is being, uh, uh, as when, well, like you, you wouldn't know this, but as when Gosser and Dahani were there, uh, B- BD is being fanned by one fractal, being fed uh, food by by another fractal. And then you see these like other uh, 20 just coming with different items and placing them in this enormous horde of uh, stuff that's next to the horde. So that's what you see. So he it looks pretty cool. Then yeah, Virgil just you know like <clears throat> yeah because the, the, Virgil's not been able to and I, I've completely forgotten to try and add anything to my sheet that will allow me to communicate directly with the yeah. dragon. But he's he's been able to you know as all of us have those tiny little words in common that BD speaks. It's just like yeah, BD well, looks fine. <laughs> yeah, as as you're kind of like trying to get a sense of BD, um, you hear him say something but it just sounds like random sounds that you can't can't like really understand and then like after that what you hear is like common do you speak common yes that's what we've been speaking around you all the time does that help yes Hi. Hi. I'm just watching Kent melt into a puddle of whatever. Um, <laughs> um, are you okay with the attention? A lot of attention, um, but great. Bigger horde. More food, scary dreams, but fine. I'm sorry about the dreams. We heard about the dreams. That is very scary. Right now, we want to make sure that you are safe and protected. Virgil's raising his voice as he says this a bit to basically not just talk to the dragon, but the fractals can hear this as well. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, fractals, they, they protect, protect me. You protect me. Feel very protected. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Um, good. All all that we want is your safety and we want to make sure that you are okay but did did notice some uh s- some things of yours um and the dragon kind of 
you like see like a you know like his little wing kind of point toward a section <laughs> of the horde and uh tell me one like small thing that virgil would own like sort of a a small item that you would immediately recognize uh if pointed to um like it could be a ring or a piece of jewelry or like a you know so, some sort of clothing it's um it's it's actually it's it's kind of a, a brooch and it's uh, a bit of like unformed stained glass that uh that that kent had found at some point yeah you see that poking out uh <laughs> of uh of uh the horde okay this is and and now at this point virgil is basically talking to the talking to bd like you know we're fine with you taking things from around the manor, and had you taken this, it might be fine. But they are taking things that that don't belong to them and giving them to you, and that's 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 a, that's hard for us. That's a problem for us because those belong in our horde. Oh, you you, you have horde. It's. It's complicated, but yes, all beings have hordes of some time of some kinds. Ours are smaller, and ours Speak mean as much to us. Ours mean as much to us <laughs> <laughs> as yours does to you. So it is you would not like it if if now the fractals do protect you, but you wouldn't like it if they took something from your horde and and came and gave it to us. This is the same thing. Yes. Um, and then uh, uh, B BD kind of turns slightly toward the the, the like uh, 20 fractals and says, stop bringing to Horde, please. Horde is fine. And then they uh, they turn around with their stuff and leave. All right. Uh, to any lingering fractals that may be just hanging around as just like basking, Virgil is, is, turns to them and says, we protect this dragon. We are responsible for their care. They're fine. You don't have to worry. You can go. Hmm. Well, as, well, well, as long as Tan is there, said so, I guess, I guess you're right. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, mm -hmm. and and that fractal leaves. Um, anything else you want to do, Virgil, with BD, or uh, we will close out uh, with this. If there's anything left you want to do, no, I yeah, just like you see, you 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 notice like a small conversation trailing off between Virgil and BD because they've never been able to talk like this. Before. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. This is like yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Just... The, yeah yeah this is a big deal right like the <laughs> like a B B bg has uh acquired uh a way entire to time just like roll out comment on us like that okay <laughs> i mean the, the dragon's been learning well okay i didn't want it so that it meant that <laughs> bd always knew it <laughs> it was faking this is like the evolution it. process uh yeah so we end yes yeah, so, so we end with the rivals getting some rest um everybody's reunited in the same place uh, we have a goal, we have a map, um, and uh, yeah, we have uh, some direction for the final two episodes. Um, wow. So, Oh my goodness, uh, that's right. Yeah. Ah. Um, so if you have any questions for our characters, uh, put them in the chat, the word question in front of them. I'm never going to um, remember this right. And we'll try to get to them uh, after we do our outros. Um, first time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So why don't we start with Tanya? Uh, what do you have going on? I've actually got a lot going on. Uh, tomorrow I go to Seattle. If you've ever seen Good at Stuff, I'm going out there and I'll be on Good at Stuff on the Crown Channel. We're going to play with Dice, Dice Towers, and chat uh, with Pacagena. So that'll be on uh, twitch.tv slash crown at 4 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, Black Dice Society is back after everyone has been at sdcc we're back on sunday and then of course gen con where i'll be doing all the things so yeah i basically get no rest after amsterdam <laughs> um and i'll be streaming got some game codes got some minis 
and uh, excited to do both Rivals Live and Black Dice Live at Gen Con. Yeah, and uh, when's our Rivals Live? Uh, uh, it is Friday at Friday. 6 p.m. If somebody could hit the Gen Con command, it's a paltry $10, I believe, mm-hmm. for a ticket. Yeah, yeah so, so uh, make sure to support us um, if you're going to be headed to Gen Con. Um, make sure to share our announcements. We've been tweeting about our uh, live show. Um, Masood will be uh, reading up that one shot, so it'll, it should be exciting. I won't be there, unfortunately, but I'm sure he'll take every chance to somehow make fun of Shaka. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, but, but also, you don't know that I might not have named a C, uh, NPC Sharif in my oh, one shot. Oh, oh. You need to stop uh, putting us in Waterdeep. Wow. Okay. Also, Who don't forget. Waterdeep? So many things um, that we're all assuming. Yeah. Don't forget, we do have guests B. Dave Walters and Mark Mir. Yes, yes. Our favorite um, Baylith on the Citadel will be joining us. Mm-hmm. Yes. Awesome. Uh, you hit me up. Hi, everybody. Which, which I'm, okay. I'm DM Jazz Hands. What do I have going on? Um, I don't think it's a particularly heavy week for me, as usual, streaming on the channel on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, no new episode of The Last Refuge on Wednesday, my podcast this week, because uh, last week was our season nine finale, yeah. and we're going bi-weekly with little, uh, like, montage bottle episodes until we start season 10 in the fall. What else? Is that it? I think so. I think that's it for me for this week, so wrapping up some writing and all that good stuff, but come hang out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's me. Yeah. Awesome. Brian. Hi, uh, I am Brian. I am urban bohemian pretty much everywhere on the internet except for TikTok, and I am still mad about it. Um, this <laughs> week is pretty, actually, let me, I forgot to look up the calendar, but let me just take a quick peek because I think this is a, yeah, it's a relatively um, free calendar week, which makes me worried that I'm going to say yes to something and, you know, that it won't be anymore. But you can catch me um, on my channel on Tuesday afternoon and then saturday and sunday we're gonna be i've done stray we're gonna probably look at a few demos and then some animal crossing and then you'll find me back here on sunday so if anything else comes up please keep an eye on my social media all right masood hey everyone i'm masood you can find me on instagram and twitter at marood boy m-a-h-r-u-d-e-b-o-i and for me i'm just playing with these rivals right now i'm currently in school so that's been taking up a lot of my time um so i'm not really doing much else on the internet Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Doing a learning a lot at Witherbloom, actually. Yeah. Uh-huh. We, when are we gonna get to oh, Masood no. Hut, the NPC? Well, because we'll talk about uh-huh. that. Uh, I mean, when but, we get to the Badlands and see when else how are Masood's how are grades? That's right. Or, you know, uh, like... yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you'll see him on a spike outside in the Badlands. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, that's me. Um, uh, for myself, what I got going on, um, I'm really just putting together the one shot for Gen Con. I'm getting things in line and getting things set up for that. Very excited about it. If you're going to Gen Con, please uh, come on through to our show. We're going to have a real good time. Um, um, besides that, you know, just trying to live my life um trying to enjoy it in the midst of everything that's occurring which is a challenge so i uh, kudos to everyone who gets to do that um but that's me so find out more about me and my cats at marood boy on twitter and instagram <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh be, and uh be sure to check out latia as well at mm. at, uh, at, uh, at latiajakis.com and, La- yeah. and, La- and latia jakis on social network also um Monty Cook Games, which she is the community yeah. manager for. Make sure to yes. check out Monty Cook and all the products, products and Kickstarters and stuff that they put out as well. Um, and also wanted to mention, um, make sure to also check out uh, Journeys to the Radiant Citadel um, mm-hmm. that just came out, all, all POC uh, written book. Um, and Serena Marie has the first adventure in there, which is awesome. Uh, I read through it and it's great. Um, tk johnson also has something and like mm-hmm. a, a couple of other friends of the show as well so um make sure to check that out um it's in all the bookstores and digital roll 20 D and all that stuff as well um okay let's get to some of these questions um first question for kent oh no <laughs> uh, do all the mass lords sound like that <laughs> or did you get a few preset <laughs> options well that's Your the mask. best part is i think we all sound different but that ain't my mask so whoever's mask that is chose you know felt that it was in their best interest to hide their identity if they 
sounded like this during every high-level bureaucratic government meeting in Waterdeep. So, right. yeah. Those must have been the shortest meetings ever. Like, <laughs> just, yes, just yes, please. Yeah, just yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Y y y y y y yes, I approve of, of a Nimrod. God, jeez, just so <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, I love that. Uh, question for Salise. Uh, brother rolled over like a deflated ball before you could choose violence. Were you disappointed about that? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I am actually surprised that uh, yeah. <laughs> that uh, brother survived this. I thought, yeah, wow, destroyed this dude. I'm not a oh. mind killer. Not just Elise. I, I, I thought it was a hesitation. Yeah. On, it was a hesitation on giving us information, but then that there was a slight hesitation of breaking. Like, like, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I detected that maybe we could break this person. Yeah, yeah. No, and no. He broke. I, I, I thought that scene was great. Y'all definitely handled <laughs> it in probably the funnest way possible for me as a DM. Uh, uh, this is great. Um, Okay, uh, question for the rivals for anyone. Uh, what's the most valuable item in your personal hoard? Uh, sentimental value applies. So this can either be just something that's in general just a valuable, you know, like a money wise, or just something that you care about a lot. Um, I'll say it's it, it it's something that's still there that has not been <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that is not missing. Uh, uh Ooh. yeah so any, any, any i don't know there? can i be uh, alone when i answer can virgil not be near uh, me to hear yeah, what i course. say okay yeah. great just making yeah. sure yeah. Oh, sorry. i'm sorry wait you're this way <laughs> no, 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 no. you just gotta turn off your turn off the bluetooth headphones for a while we'll tell you <laughs> oh wait i can do this <laughs> um so as long as virgil can't hear kent saying this his most uh prized item is a little um <laughs> Is a little astrolabe that uh, that Virgil gave him uh, for their first anniversary. He has no idea what it does or how it works. It is some nautical bullshit that Virgil really liked, but it meant a whole lot that he gave it to me. Sweet. Yeah, uh, Shaka will never admit this uh, publicly, but uh, one of uh, Gosric's Shaka bobbleheads uh, that I love is. That. <laughs> honestly not a great one but from <laughs> sentimental value like just seeing like the facsimile of himself on something as like a hero kind of like uh kind of makes him feel really good so he uh you know uh really really high on his sentimental value list yeah uh gosrick hopes no one knows this but he never returned the arch druid robes that we use as a costume, like, and they're like tucked away at the back of his closet. And I think it's a reminder for him of like home, where we've come from, where we are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just like it, someone's like, I guess I'm missing a set. Um, <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. Uh, Salise. So it, this will be a deep cut that only Shaka would get, though. It's the acorn from when Knock Knock. Uh, got turned okay and after he because remember we ran across the tree that he became and we found yep. acorns on the ground oh yep. mm -hmm. so that acorn and she actually has um used what's left of her old wedding ring into it and it just always stays on her person oh, sweet i love that oh that's nice love it love, it, love, it, love that. it that's great what a great way to end uh show sh 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 shout out to carlos luna's knock knock no, um, no. Came oh. The uh, first few seasons of Waterdeep, uh, really, really great character. Um, all right, y'all. So that's it for this week. We got two more, two more episodes. We got, uh, you know, we kind of know where we're heading, um, and we got introduced to, uh, you know, our uh, bad, our big bad, big, big biggie baddie. Yeah. Um, so uh, see y'all next week. Um, and again, make sure to check out the rival show on August 5th on, uh, at, uh, Gen Con, um, sorry, at Gen Con on Gen Con. Um, and, uh, we will be raiding, uh, yeah, who are we going to speak? Coda Girl Chan. It is yeah. her, it is her stream anniversary. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah. So I think it's the first week where I've actually said who we're raiding before I said bye to everyone. <laughs> Yay. We're getting I'm, there. Uh, we're getting there. I'm, I'm uh, learning. 
um yeah so uh make make sure to stick um around for the raid um and we'll we'll be recording our after show for patrons that will be uploaded in a few days as well so peace y'all